Alrighty folks, in this video we are going to do a little work to this here Kuahara Apollo Cascade, the old classic dad bike. I previously did a video on this bike where we put drop bars on it and since that video I've stolen those bars to put on one of the two Surly cross checks that I have purchased in the last year or so. So I've ordered a couple of parts and we're just going to try swapping a few things out on this bike. At the time when I removed the drop bars from this bike, I put these Jones H bars on and they're great bars. They're very comfortable, uh, very practical, but the looks just weren't jiving well with this frame. I ordered up this set of Nito Noodle Bars and a Nito Tektronic Stem, one of those really high rise stems you can get. I don't think I quite ordered enough reach though. <laughs> it looks a little bit goofy in my opinion. We'll have to ride around and see what we think. If you hadn't seen the original build video, I bought this frame for $20 and the only thing it had was a frame and the fork and the headset bearings. And so pretty much every part on this bike came from my parts bin, including a bottom bracket. I just found an extra one that I had. Uh, these bar end shifters were kind of pillaged over the years. Don't even know where I got them from. Uh, but I, one of them was missing the lever. And so I ended up taking a set of down tube shifter levers. And they work. I mean, they were Shimano, so they kind of play well with this. It looks a little bit goofy, but I actually kind of like it. <laughs> it kind of looks like a... Spoon build shifter, I don't know.
Now, the way this turned out, mixed feelings. It With that tall stem, it's very floppy, not very rigid. And I think the aesthetics are a little bit goofy on this setup as well. Um, so what I decided to do was machine a spacer, a shim, to go from a 31.8 millimeter to a 26 millimeter diameter bar and uh, see if we could reuse that Velo Orange Happy Stem that we had on there previously. It just turns out that I happen to have a metal lathe in my garage, which makes this process a lot easier. Now, one thing I'd done was I rode this bike around for a good couple rides with the other stem before I put tape on the bars because I wanted to make sure it felt right and it just wasn't feeling good. Uh, after getting some riding in with this stem, it's amazing how I've pretty much achieved the same handlebar position, but this stem is so much more rigid and there's not near as much flex in it. And I kind of like the look of it a little bit better. I don't know. Still not like pure and, and true, but I think it's not a bad looking bike and it feels so, so good. All right, so I'm really liking these bars. Definitely much more rigid with the uh, Velo Orange Happy Stem. And uh, seems feeling great to turn around here. I'm just going up and down this road. I actually met a gentleman over there just now who's retired and he collects pop bottles. And the other day I found a secret stash where somebody must enjoy partying. So I tipped him off and he's gonna check it out. But this bike, the 26 inch wheels, these two inchers, they were made for this kind of slow rambling. Wind's picked up in the last little bit, but nice to have some gears on this bike. I don't know what it is about these old bikes, the geometry. They're just so comfortable and uh, I can get nice and upright you know for when I want to really relax and then this on the hoods it's actually I think it's just right it's nice lean forward not too aggressive and if I was really battling the wind I could get into the drops try and make my aero profile a little smaller oh man I love where I live a lot of people don't get it. They're like, you live in such a flat, boring place, but I love it. Well, I thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, maybe inspired you to go out and work on your bikes or ride your bikes. Cheers. <laughs>